Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to filter the CSV file you uploaded. I have uploaded a demo CSV file that has 20 elements, which are all shoes having the following characteristics. Now, let's say I want to create a filter where I find all the shoes that are made by Nike. So in the filter section, I'm going to go to manufacturer, select equals. And for the value, I'm going to put in Nike. Then I'm going to click on add rule. And then I'm going to click on apply filters. Once that criteria has been applied, you can now see that there are three elements that match. By clicking on the blue arrows, you can view each one individually. And as you can see, each one is made by Nike. Now let's add a filter where we look for all the shoes that are made by Nike and are less than $50. So under filters, I'm going to also select price less than 50, then click on add rule. And this shows us that it'll display all the shoes made by Nike that are less than $50. So when I click on apply filters, it shows me two elements. And when I look at them, they are both made by Nike and less than $50. Now let's add a third criteria and this time look for shoes that are either made by Nike or are less than $50 or are blue. So under filters, I'm going to select the color element equals blue. Click on add rule. And now I'm going to change these to or. Then I'm going to click on apply filters. And there are now nine elements that meet this criteria. Now let's do something a little more complicated. What if you want to find shoes that are either blue Nikes or are less than $50? In this case, we're going to move blue up above Nike, and we're going to say and. So blue add Nike, or less than $50. Then when we click Apply Filters, we will get eight elements that match that criteria. Finally, if you want to remove any of these rules, just click on the red X next to the rule you want to remove, or you can click in the Manual XPath field and use the delete key to manually remove the rule you want to take out. 